It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins coming up next. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today we've got an AFC East matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Miami. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Well, here come the Bills, and you don't have to look hard to find their fifth-year star QB, taking seventh overall back in 2018, Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both, and at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. First down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? To throw on second and six. Allen, he's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. First down for Stephon Diggs there. We've really seen him become a true superstar in the last couple of seasons. He's made his first two Pro Bowls after 2020-2021 with a career-high 10 touchdowns to cap off the 2021 season. And only Cooper Cup and Devontae Adams have more catches than him since 2020. Allen now on first down. On the slant, he's got Davis. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 34. 
They'll give this to Singletary running right, taken down at the 30. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. From the 30 on second down, Allen, he's got the connection over the middle of the digs. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Now Allen. This is caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. Devin Singletary, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. It's Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Now Tua Tungabailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. The secret to his game and his success, incredible chemistry with each and every one of the guys who catches passes with him. And not only does he ask them to stay after practice or meet him before practice, he actually demands it because he knows if they have that kind of chemistry built up, they're going to be hard to beat each and every ball game. The Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. 
A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Escaping the pressure right. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. It'd be interesting to see what he decides to do the next time he's in the position we just saw there. Outside of the pocket, takes a throw downfield, it turns up incomplete. I wonder if next time he might take off and run. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. And take it right at the 35. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. As they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. come to the line to start their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. That'd be ideal. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen got his man complete over the middle. It's McKenzie. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. A give, Singletary right side, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. From the 44, Allen. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Allen now looks to throw. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Nine yards that time. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Allen. He will find Davis on the left side complete. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. 
I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Let's go, baby. Turn it up. A give up the middle to Singletary. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop it right around the line of scrimmage. It's Melvin Ingram on the tackle. I would think as a play caller, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was. Because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stopped that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. Now Allen throwing on second down. And Allen will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact at the end. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. This will be cool, and it's a fumble. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense I, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. To throw, it's Allen. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Melvin Ingram. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there. Said not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Looking to throw, Allen. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So on fourth down, out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. From the right hash, this from 33. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. 
So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera, but this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. But Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there, but they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Second and six, just inside the 30. Looking to pass to him. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. On third down, here's Gaskin. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Now Tua. Oh looking for Waddle but it's intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds the linebacker and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. An unfortunate sequence there trying to get points before intermission but now the interception and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. And that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. The Bills offense now for one final time in this first half. And they'll start with a short field following that turnover as they look for points here before the break. So after the INT, it's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. That's interference. That's interference. Defense. 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 You've got to be kidding me. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. On first down, Allen. 
And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Hallett. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Walked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. The kick by Bass is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Bills. And even though they've got the big cushion, I would imagine they'd like to see a little more out of their passing game. Pretty pedestrian numbers through two quarters of play. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. Taking it about the one. Mostert hit, and he drops the ball. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 15. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Again, they'll run it with Mostert. And down he'll go at the 25. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs.
On first and ten, it's Mostert. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Tua sets up to pass it. Open man is Waddle complete. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here's the Bills' offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 23. He'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. The tackle made by Alandon Roberts. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To the air, Allen. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slant. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Allen going to throw. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run and get some space. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop it right at the line. It was Raekwon Davis with the tackle. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. 
They go right back to Singletary. Gets past one man. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. And now they'll throw with Allen. Over the middle complete. That's McKenzie. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Holding. Offense. Offense. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Now Allen. His throw incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Trying to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Back to throw. Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 25-yard line. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle but they allow the conversion. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're gonna throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you wanna keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're gonna get additional guys running at the quarterback. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. Throwing now is Allen. Oh, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Melvin Ingram picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The passing game's been struggling a bit today, and that was the latest example. Hadn't been getting much yardage out of it, and now on his back after the last play, he faces third and long. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Looking to throw, Allen. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Noah Igbenogany. And the Dolphins are right back in this football game. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on it trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we were talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right, keeping hope alive. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Going to the air, Tugavailoa. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time, all right? It's not like you know, they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big-time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. Going right back to Wilson. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense, really struggling to find answers. First down now, but that clock rolling. Tongue of Iloa. And that is incomplete. With how the coverage was positioned, up was about the only spot the quarterback had to try and deliver that pass. Just put a little too much height on it. Incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Now Tua. And he'll just get rid of it. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Here's Tua. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Bills are going to get the football back. Well, they had to take one final shot at the end zone, but now things are looking really bleak. And I agree with that totally. You had to take the shot if they did score. You know, whether you call it a miracle or not, you line up, onside kick, get the ball back, throw one more in the end zone, who knows? Had to take the chance, it just was unsuccessful. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Singletary again. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play.
So they come up on second down and they can get another run like we just saw would likely put an end to this thing. On the give this is Singletary. Room here to run. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. That kind of puts the bow on what has been a complete performance, Charles. They're pitching a shutout on the other side in this offense. They've done their thing well, too. Yeah, this game has been all-out effort from them on every snap. And there's a good amount of pride on the line right now. They want to finish what they started. They want this shutout preserved. Allen will try to throw for it. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get it intercepted, it's returned by the defense, that's two points for them. But he identified an open target and put it right on him. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Dolphins offense returning to the field. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands trying to... And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. How about one last great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate, but I will guarantee you the defensive guys, they'll get together somewhere and have their own private celebration. A shutout, that's something to be cherished. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. So first and 10 now from the 30. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. But they absolutely pitch a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one.